Day 523, just finished the 100 for the day, I did 40 chin-ups, 10 single leg lunges, so I did 10 each leg, I thought about counting it twice, but then I just thought, you know, it doesn't, only one leg got worked out, so I'm just gonna do 10 in each leg, I did 50, Quarter kicks and 50, I guess I'm gonna call them center crunches. You just bring your legs up and try to drive in between your two ankles. But yeah, you bring them up at 90 degrees and then drive towards the ankles. But the rest of the day, got up, felt tired, didn't get to bed till around 3.30 last night. Got up a little bit before seven and work seemed to take forever. After lunch I was just zombie mode, just autopilot, trying to make it through. Even my manager was just like, this is a long day. And I was like, oh yes, I'm right there with you. Very long day and I'm ready to leave. So it was movie night, normally the group run, but the movie came out today to knock out the cabin. So the plan was to run before. And I thought, because of how tired I was, I was going to come back, take a nap, get up, then go for a run, and then try to figure out food before the movie. But I came back, played with the pup for a little bit, and she's over here. Come on, Mo. Come here, puppies. Come over here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come here. Come on. Yeah, right there you go. Say hi. No, no, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Come here. There you go. Hi, puppies. And so we just went for maybe a 15 minute walk and came back, tried to use the restroom and change, get out the door as fast as I could. It was already 6.30, so got done at 7, came back, and then had a friend texted me and said there was a situation at work that was, I don't know, um, it was, I guess, a scary situation at work with an incident that happened with my, Someone brought in an item that shouldn't have been there. I guess just leave it at that. And then they were just kind of panicking, freaking out. And I think it's rightfully so because they said they caught it. It was loaded. And the person tried to throw it away real quick or stash it. And thankfully they caught him and no one was injured. But... That was just intense, and they said they were really shaken up, to say the least. And it was kind of hard to take a nap after that. That, would, that wakes you up. And I wasn't even there, so I can only imagine how they felt. But then, just sat in bed for like about another 10 minutes, and then got up, got ready. Got out the door, I made it to pizza and chips. I said I was gonna go get pizza tonight before the movie. And I did, and thankfully there was no line. I just straight up placed my order, pulled around, waited another minute, gave my food, I paid, and then we're out the door. Or the drive through so out the out of the parking lot. And then ate the half of it real quick. I got a fifteen piece shrimp and chips with the eight ounce extra pizza sauce, because I love that sauce. And I ate a little bit less than half. I just needed something in my stomach to hold me over before the movie. And so I have half of it for lunch tomorrow. But then I got to the theater and some things didn't work out. So I was supposed to go with with some some people and just uh, another like thing happened out of their control. And so I was like, sorry, we have to cancel. And it, you know, things like that can happen. Don't stress about it. 
then just sat down the movie, watched the movie. And man, it was so many previews. It was supposed to start at 9.10. And the previews kept going till about 9.45. It was just almost out of control. Just like, my goodness, it's almost another movie. But then the finally, the movie picked up and it started right away. It was like maybe one or two minutes and then just boom, things start happening. So it was very quick to get into the story, which was nice. But then it wasn't a big crowd. I was kind of expecting someone to say something when, I, when we left to be like, that was lame or I knew that was going to happen. Something like that. Or that's it. Where's the twist? What kind of ending is that? Anything to that effect. And then nothing. Everyone was just quiet still. And then a few people got up and left. I waited a minute and then like, all right, let's leave. <laughs> but very interesting story. Knock at the cabin. I'm trying to think like how else to describe it. But it was just captivating for one. I mean, it brings you in. It's, I think the part of his thing is like people always wait for the twist and they want to twist every time, but you can't do that. And he just has a way to story tell. And I think that's what makes M. Night Shyamalan so, so interesting is that he's got a way to story tell. And he, a lot of his stories make you question whose side of the story you're going to believe. And so you, go, you kind of ping pong back and forth until that last minute, the last 10, 15 minutes of the movie. And this one was kind of that case. You, you kind of believe one side. And you kind of leave the other and like, oh, they make a good point. And so you go back over here and, oh, no, they make a good point. They make a good point. So you come back and back and back. But it's just a slow, I can't think of anything else besides captivating. Because even the camera stays with the, with the characters a lot. There's not a lot of zooming in, zooming out. There's not a lot of chase scenes, not a lot of explosions. It, it very much feels self-contained that it's just right there what you're looking at is all you need to see and all you need to know and everything happens in this frame and then it cuts to the next frame and then everything happens here and then it cuts to the next one and it's just a slow pander so you really just have time to let your mind and all your thoughts soak in to where you're at and you're not jumping around left and right up and down I think that's very unique it's in a calm way, telling a story that it's dramatic, it's suspenseful, it's intense. And so it's worth a watch. Definitely worth a watch, especially if you like his other movies. And so that was enjoyable. And again, just came back, finished the 100 for 100, so that's day three. And now it's late, it's almost midnight, so I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> So, run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.